Dr. Agusia, let's focus on suicide prevention. What can we do to save lives? Okay. First of all, two things. Remember that when you save somebody from killing themselves, virtually always they're going to be grateful to you. Um, and that's just a fundamental reality. At first they may not be but they will be, and usually in a very short time. Second of all, don't be afraid to talk turkey. Be real straight with the person and talk about what you're really thinking and feeling. Don't beat around the bush with people in this situation. Ask them straightforward questions like, have you ever thought about taking your own life? Are you thinking about killing yourself right now? Do you have a plan to kill yourself? How, do you have the means to carry out that plan? Have you tried or rehearsed your plan? Have you ever attempted suicide in the past? The answers to those questions are all very important. If somebody is just having a fleeting thought about killing themselves, that's just like most of us. It's very different from somebody saying, yes, I plan on killing myself. I'm going out to the woods. I have a gun. I bought it yesterday. I've got some bullets and here they are, and um, I just wanted to thank you for all the help you've given me in my life, goodbye. Mm -hmm. It's real different. Mm -hmm. um, so be straightforward, ask them these questions. If they answer the questions affirmatively, um, don't be afraid to talk very openly and matter-of-factly about it. Don't be blown away by it. Mm -hmm. Listen to the person, express your appreciation for the pain they're in and for what they're going through, but try to give them alternatives. Remember, they feel trapped. Mm -hmm. So start pointing out ways in which these problems can be solved and get them to realize that there is no black vortex pulling them into oblivion. Um, align with yourself with the person and start talking about we. Why don't we go get some help? Why don't we go get to the hospital? Why don't we go out for coffee right now? Mm -hmm. Maybe if you eat something, you'll feel better. Let's go get a hamburger, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So let them know they're not alone then. Join That's them. That's correct. That's mm -hmm. right, that's okay. right. And develop a safety plan. Well, I like that. And you know, Dr. Agusi, I want to stop you for a second. You keep saying how people who do commit suicide, they feel like they're in a black vortex. Right. They are living in darkness. They don't see any light. They don't have any hope in their lives. So isn't it important also to just encourage people and, and help them get that hope again? And the answer is absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's part of providing them with alternatives. You, w when you're in that that way of feeling and thinking. Um, you can't see the world for what it is. Mm -hmm. And part of what we can do for folks who are stuck in that hole is to see for them and give them alternative versions of reality that are more accurate mm -hmm. than the one they feel trapped in. Well, it's perfect. And I think it's, uh, it just, it hurts me to think about the number of suicide. Like we've said, every 30 seconds someone commits suicide because life is a beautiful thing. We should embrace it, you know? Every day is a new day. Every day can be a fresh start, a as, new beginning. As Helen Keller said, life is either a great adventure or nothing at all. Mm -hmm. And when people feel like it's nothing at all, they want to die. Mm -hmm. But it's usually a great adventure. and We ought to take advantage of that, live life to the fullest. What about families of suicide victims? Well, <clears throat> um, they are left with the mess to clean up and they usually are left with lots of recurrent questions mostly the ones that focus around what should I have done differently um, I, I've known four patients that I worked with who killed themselves at some point never when they were actually in treatment with me but sometime afterwards and even with that for the next week I would agonize over it and think to myself what should I have done differently? What could I have said? What direction could I have pushed them in so that they would have felt more hope and lived mm -hmm. to be able to enjoy the life that we've been talking about? And, um, and families who, commit, who have a family member who commits suicide are left with all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and almost always the answer is there's nothing you could have done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't beat yourself up over and over about it. Right. You will, mm -hmm. but try not to. Right. Because they could get in that darkness then. They could that, get in that trap that their right. family member that's right. fell that's into. Right. So. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. Don't work too much. Have fun. Don't take it too seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, life, 
life is uh, mostly a pleasure and all we are is little flecks of stardust and there are no problems that we're involved with that in the big picture really amount to very much right. so just have a good time yeah. enjoy it life is a beautiful thing right yeah. and every day is a new day and a new start so dr agusia thank you for being on this morning you're welcome and thank you everybody for tuning in with me today i hope that you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m and then again at 8 30 a.m take care everybody It'll be a 